Commissioner for all the country reports presented today and for the important work OHCHR carries out through its country and regional offices. In particular, we thank the office for its report on Sri Lanka, which highlights a number of crucial issues. The report documents worrying accounts of ongoing human rights violations, including harassment and intimidation of journalists and human rights defenders. Such incidents, together with impunity for other grave crimes and the impeachment of the Chief Justice, raise serious questions over Sri Lanka's respect for the rule of law. It is vital that Sri Lanka immediately takes further steps to demonstrate its commitment to the democratic values it has pledged voluntarily to uphold, in particular given its scheduled hosting of this year's Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Notwithstanding important gaps in the LLRC report, we believe its full and prompt implementation would go a long way to ensuring reconciliation and the full enjoyment of human rights by all Sri Lankans. While there have been some positive developments, for example on demining, we have been disappointed with slow progress made in implementing Sri Lanka's own national action plan and encourage the government to act with more vigour, including by publishing detainee lists. It must also go further. Reconciliation will only be possible if there are genuine efforts to ensure accountability for past actions on all sides. We note with concern the assessment that steps taken to investigate serious human rights violations, quote, lack the independence and impartiality required to inspire confidence, unquote. We urge the government of Sri Lanka to redress this, including through a credible independent investigation into events depicted in Channel 4 footage authenticated by UN Special Rapporteurs. Reconciliation will also be served through greater efforts to secure political settlement and through free and fair Northern Provincial Council elections in September. Inviting the special procedures and responding positively to the High Commissioner's offer of assistance would further help to demonstrate the Sri Lankan government's commitment to human rights for all. Thank you, Mr. President. We commend the achievements Sri Lanka has made in generating economic development, recovery of the war affected areas, demining, and resettlement of former IDPs. However, while progress has been made in these areas, there are still important work to be done when it comes to reconciliation, political solution, and accountability issues in Sri Lanka. Norway does acknowledge the difficult task of achieving a political solution acceptable to all communities. Norway also recognizes the challenges in securing the human rights of all citizens in a fragile post-war setting. Nevertheless, progress in these areas is essential if Sri Lanka's fra fragile peace is to be consolidated. A sustainable peace needs to be built on the foundation of a political solution, also acceptable to the minorities. The promised provincial consular election in the north would be a step in the right direction. Securing the human rights as well as strengthening and ensuring the independence of national institutions are also essential and would contribute to unifying the nation. Furthermore, tensions between religious communities must be addressed in a responsible manner to ensure sustainable and inclusive reconciliation. We are mindful uh, that the government of Sri Lanka has consistently maintained that the solution to the country's challenge must be homegrown. The report LRC is indeed a national document presenting domestic solutions to national issues. Norway remains committed to assist Sri Lanka's own initiatives, and Norway's support for the resolution should be viewed in this light. We would like to encourage the government of Sri Lanka to see the international call for the implementation of the recommendation of the LRC report in a constructive spirit of support and cooperation towards reconciliation in Sri Lanka. We believe the international community should continue to follow the progress and to again offer assistance on outstanding issues. We would like to encourage, to encourage Sri Lanka to increase its dialogue and cooperation with the Office of the High Commissioner and UN Special Procedures. Norway has been a long-standing partner to Sri Lanka. We would like to repeat our sincerity in supporting the country and its people in securing a peaceful and prosperous future of Sri Lanka. Thank you.